Well, there are three takeaways. First is that Trump voters do believe in security. They believe in some sort of barrier that provides that sense of security uh, between the U.S. and other countries. Second, and equally important, they believe in immigrants, in immigration. They are pro-immigration. And I, honestly, I was a little surprised because of what I see reported in the media. Trump voters support the DREAM Act. They support the ability of these people who are brought here through no fault of their own, the ability to earn a path to citizenship. Right. And they emphasize the word earn because they don't want it just given. But they want them the chance to prove that this is the country they want to be in, and they want to give them that chance for citizenship if you earn it. And third, they're fed up with the Democrats and, quite frankly, with some of the Republicans for not finding a solution to this, that this is obvious and the solution is clear. Create that border security that we so obviously need and give DREAMers, this is the DREAM Act now, mm -hmm. give them a chance put them on a path to citizenship. Let them show that they are truly committed to the country, that they want to earn that path to citizenship. We can do this. We can get this done. Yeah, Frank, as I mentioned, I'm so glad that you did this. You know, the left says Republicans are bigots, they're racist, they don't want immigration, they want to round up immigrants and just throw them out. Your focus group showed that it's far more nuanced. You asked them to vote by hand, in fact, about a potential compromise on the border wall, uh, and uh, the results were, were, you know, really quite surprising. Take a look. Path to citizenship, and we complete the wall by show of hands. How many of you would support that? I think that's everybody. Please explain to me why. That's that's a compromise, right? That's that's how government should be working. We get the wall up, we close the doors, we can see who's coming in, and it gives the people who were born and raised here a path to citizenship. They're Americans in all ways except yeah. for where they were actually born. Yeah. And a truthful <laughs> path to fix the problem. Absolutely. And I hope and I think it would help with the assimilation and the melting pot. They would actually feel a part of something and not out of place. This is not Frank. This is not hyper partisan. This is not extreme in in any way. But that's not what we are hearing. You said that you were surprised uh, by this. Uh, I was at CPAC a few years ago and they did a straw poll on specifically on the issue of immigration and you would think that the more conservative voters as well that it would be a little bit more monolithic it totally wasn't they're far more accepting do you think that this also translates over this frustration one with with the way that immigration is portrayed and the way that certain people the certain people's uh, views on immigration are being distorted that that also translates over to more uh, more moderate or even independent voters absolutely this country was made by immigrants. My grandparents on one side and my great grandparents on another side came from Eastern Europe, where all the children are grandchildren of, of immigrants. And we appreciate this. Yes, there is a right and a wrong way. And we do need to acknowledge the role of laws. But our laws and our immigration system is not working right now. We need these people. We actually have an economy that's expanding, that's growing. And we, we respect them. Look at that sign, dreamers, not criminals. Right. The Trump voter does not want to criminalize this. They want people to earn their path to citizenship. They want people to come here the right way. There was a line that I learned, which is tall fences and wide gates. Mm -hmm. Tall fences that say to people, come here the right way. Wide gates that welcome people, and particularly the children, don't punish them. Trump yeah. voters have sympathy for them. They appreciate the challenges that they face. Many of these people have known no other country. They're proud Americans. Give them the chance to earn it. And I, I emphasize that word to, to every Trump voter. They're not saying give citizenship. They're not saying tear down the wall. They want to separate these two issues with the exception of they want to combine them as a grand compromise. Let's make sure that there's a barrier and let's give the children, the dreamers, that path to citizenship that they themselves want to earn. It's really clear. It's really, it's, it's obvious. And I'm hoping that 
members of Congress are listening right now. Frank, do you think that uh, the <clears throat> dedication to the demonization of Trump voters and Republicans and conservatives and this misrepresentation ultimately is going to boomerang on Democrats? I think people are getting very fed up. I think they're very insulted about the fact that they're being called bigots and racists because they favor legal immigration, and they favor people not coming here and being wards of the state, but being active uh, contributors to, our, to, the, to the growth of our society. I think that we all demonize each other so much now. <clears throat> it's one of the reasons why normally I would not have done this interview. You can hear in my voice that I'm struggling. This matters to me so much. This is such a high priority because this is the future of this country that's at stake. And we have to stop ripping each other apart. We have to stop being so ugly to each other. I am very frustrated with the media and how it presents a picture that is biased and one-sided. But what's more important is I, I, I talk to the children. I teach at Verbum Day. Mm -hmm. And these many of them are the children of people who came over here and came over here in a way that they shouldn't have. But those kids are wonderful. These Verbum Day students, they are working so hard. They are trying so hard. They, are, they all have two, or two jobs to support their families. These kids are wonderful. I know them. I teach them. Frank. And my heart goes out to them. And I want to make a difference for them. Frank, uh, just in our, our remaining, I think I've got about 30 seconds here. If you were giving advice to President Biden, about how to truly reach across the aisle on this issue, not say that you're for unity and bipartisanship and then go and do your own thing. What would it be coming off of this research and what you heard? Oh, it's so clear. If you truly believe in unity, offer it, do it. Something for the Democrats, something for the Republicans, something for this generation, something for the future generation. Truly reach across the aisle. You can solve immigration. We absolutely need border security, without question. We absolutely need a path to citizenship, without question. Do it together, bring people together, actually offer a solution that works for everyone, works for the American economy, works for American culture. People earn their path, mm -hmm. they support the country, they're patriotic. Let's do 